Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to change your lock screen wallpaper on your Kindle Fire HD. Now to some of you, you may say, but why am I doing a video about changing the lock screen paper, wallpaper on a Kindle Fire? But if you notice, a Kindle Fire is quite different from Android. On Android, you get an option to change your lock screen wallpaper, but on a Kindle Fire, you do not get that option. If you notice, if you go to settings and display and wallpaper, you do not get an option to change your lock screen wallpaper. So if I were to select this wallpaper and I select set and I go home, you see that I have the same wallpaper on my home screen and the same wallpaper on my lock screen. Now I came up with an awesome finding that I used ES File Explorer to change the home screen wallpaper and I used the settings application to change the home screen wallpaper. So you have to use two different applications in order to do this and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first of all, let me go to settings. So, you go to, so just follow me. Go to display wallpaper and I'm going to just choose this picture of me here okay now if I choose set you notice that it's on the home screen and on the lock screen now just look at what I'm going to do and you'll understand so go to yes file explorer and uh, you see I have this wallpaper here so select the, the image that you want I'm just using this image just for test so select the three dots on the side set background and tap save just allow it some time go home and you notice that the home screen wallpaper is changed and the lock screen wallpaper remains the same so guys thank you very much for watching and of course i know that i helped you a lot in this video because everyone got the headache of trying to change the lock screen wallpaper and i should have said that um i also contacted amazon asking them how can i change this and they told me that it is not available to change your lock screen wallpaper and all they said that they would be forwarding that to the software department and they would in include this in the next update so i'm just waiting to see but for now you can just try this and it would work so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in another video